Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class D Northern Conference from Lita Lanes in Nash, New Hampshire. Paul Grant Live, Case McCool standing by also to help out with scoring and commentary. Today it's the Gentle Giant, the number five seed Bill Olson out of Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, taking on number four seed Wind Trap. And this could be a preview of the first round of the playoffs if things hold out in this 18 week season. This is match 14. Bill is the visiting bowler. He'll be bowling first. We're in lanes 15 and 16. 14 points overall, four for total, two for a win per string, one for a tie per string. If they tie the total, they split the points. Win in the blue shirt. Bill in the black shirt. Bill will lead off. The Gentle Giant. Thanks for watching. Please share with your friends and family. Invite your friends to bowl. Can up and bowling. Nothing out there like it at all. And Bill having one heck of a season. Took years and years off, back into can up and bowling. He has our first shot. Forceman plus the eight. It's the Bob Clary in Maine. We call it the Christy Hapworth special. She just makes a shot. It's in Maine this past weekend doing the Pearson Classic. 30 strings. I'm going to make the Carol's performance yesterday. Tied her own state record in one event. Won one of them by one pin. And just missed out on the high 10. All three personal bests and all state records. Olsen starts the first of five strings with a nine. Great guy, Bill Olsen. Class act all the way, as is Win Trapton. It's good to see these D bowls getting a chance to do anything like this for the first time. Bill between 96 and 98 average nowadays, 112 when he bowled regularly. He has a high single of 172, high triple of 424, and a high five of 636. 45 years plus off and on at the Kennel for Bowling. He started around eight years, uh, three years old rather, or eight years old, eight years old. One more. The yeah, Elaine reset here. This Thelma Easter Classic, 102 bowlers signed up. It's like, it'll be a record, it'll be a, a sellout. Last year, 93. Chris Merrill for me won it in 2021, 2022, and the Tornado, Tim Douglas, won it in 2023 in grand fashion, edging out Calvin Locke, King of the North, and the mini legend, Josh Daly. Olsen, another 4 1 split. This time he's got the four horsemen plus a post. So no head pinch yet. Had a big 14 0 swoop of a Sarah Wright. Recently, a 5 6 matchup. Sarah is supposed to schedule today. With Kim Martell, but Kevin hurt his back. Unable to bowl today. So, Kevin, hope you feel better, and we'll hopefully cover that match down the road. As it was scheduled to be a doubles match, head to head. Bill Olsen, nice 10, 19 through 2 in the first of five on Kennelton Bowling Network in high definition on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. It's never a charge. It's always free. It's Candle for Bowling Network on YouTube. We get Indiana Jones wannabe. Casey McCool sitting by with his jaw shirt on. What's the Curly Shuffle shirt today, Casey? It's in the washroom. I haven't you washed it. Should have worn it today. Curly Shuffle. Oh, no. no. Look, that was a one-time <laughs> deal. Okay. You did it twice, actually. Yeah, it was a one-time. Right. Olsen would be behind two pieces. The one seven eight nine on lane sixteen here in Nashua. Oh, what a shot! Oh, oh. He spun around. Just missed the seven. Valiant effort falls short. Good bid by Bill Olsen. Still wow. no head pinnits. But he's pinned pretty well. Like that. 9 10 10. 29 through 3. Early in the first. The executive producer of Canopy Bowling Network is Bob Lee. Left-hander, six foot six plus. Beautiful ball. First head pin it is eight. Four in the seven. Spare chance. Makeable yeah. spare leave. It's always a makeable, especially when there's wood up against the two pins too. Yeah, it's always good, huh? See if he can make it. And oh! Miss left. Takes out the seven. Leaves the. Takes out the seven. Leaves the four pin. Yikes. But he gets the 10. 
It's only one pin left in the deck. 40, uh, 39, 39 through four in the first of five. Great matchup, four versus five. Have we got a nickname for Win Trafton? Yeah, we'll have to work on that one. A win is a win is a win, though. <laughs> How can you go wrong with win? It's like Larry Bird. How can you go wrong with Bird? I asked Johnny Most that question actually in the interview, broadcasting school. Well, I think the birdie said it's pretty good. He had a lot of nicknames for all the players back right. then. Olsen, too, that time. Got the 4 7. That's the shot he wanted for the spare in that last box. Class D in its first season. Great job of Danny Finn putting together. With the 1 3 6 in front, the 9 playing hide and seek behind the 3. Home ball of Wind Trapped in the fourth seat up next. In this crucial 4 5 matchup, Bill cannot catch the win because. Wins the division leader. Bill is behind Jonathan Hogan, who's second. We'll go with the standings later on. Takes a tough six, 45 half. So not bad for one hit pin hit. In the string, we'll put it up. Put the scores on the screen every string. Per your request. Here's Wynn Trafton. Was three recently, has dropped to four. Alex Patton, the general son. The Wynn's Trafton. How about that? The Wynn's. I like that. The Wynn's Trafton. Yeah. His third seed. Just missed right. He's got the four horsemen plus the nine and the ten. Not an easy shot. Sorry, made once recently. The home bowler pushes left. One, seven, nine, ten. Great to see you again, Casey McCool. You too, Paul. It's good to see you yeah. too. Grad one of the examples of graduating class C to class B. And it's been a tough year for you. Going back to yeah. C next year again, probably? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Trapped in, got the head pin that time, but only one for a seven. So Bill has a 9 7 lead, box to box in this five spring format. There are 16 teams in each conference A, B, C, and D. Four division winners, seated one through four. Four wild cards, seated five through eight, reseeded after each round. The winner of the Northern Conference plays one of the Southern Conference for the ACST Class Championship. There's a nice ball there in the head pin. He's got the 2 7 mini split. Or as people call it in 10 pin, the baby split. Yep. Mini split, baby split, you make the call. Yep. Can you get it? Oh. No. Sailed right. Didn't get that 10 pin curve. Nope. No oil on the lanes and candle pin versus 10 pin. And oh. that goes around the seven for nine. So Bill's up still three right now, 1916. He's chasing a 45 half. Again, two points, a win per string, one for a tie, four for total in this four f versus five matchup. Trapped in. Can't find the head pin either. He's got parallel pins plus the nine. One, two in front, five, eight behind, nine right. Win coming at 137. Now he's got clean parallel pins. Bill Olsen coming to 99. That's average. We'll go with the averages later on. Wins average at 100.37. Bill's 99.86. Pretty clean, pretty evenly matched. And stopped short of the five for a nine. 29-25. Win down by four. Plenty of time left here in the first. On the crossover, he takes down eight. He's got the 510, but wood to work with. The five and die. Little angle of T wood, one coming out of play. Some senders, some tournaments will remove that wood even though it doesn't affect anything, but not here. I'd say play the red line. It should go. Play this is make, makeable with the wood. You got it! You got it! Wow! What a shot by Wynn! Minnesota Fats, great pool player. Shot. First mark for the bowler. 35 in a ball through four can take the lead now. It's not exactly six. the place I would have played it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you would have thrown the channel, Casey. Oh, will you leave me alone? <laughs> I would have hit the red line. That's what I was aiming for, the red line. Yeah, you knuckleheads. <laughs> Casey, you're an easy target. A lot of fun, Casey. All good fun, of course. Yeah. Casey's awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't love Casey? Whoop. He goes left on the spin, gets six. Lucky to get that many. One, three, five, eight. Takes the lead, 41 39, a lead at the half.
the number four seed, division leader, in this left. He's up two right now with a six down. The Gentle Giant up next, the fifth seed. <laughs> and he'll get one for a seven, 48-45, up three. The Atlantic Candleton Signals to a Class D Northern Conference leader Lanes, National New Hampshire on Candleton Bowling Network on YouTube. Over 1,000 videos, Charlie Collins, the Terminator, Glenn Gill, Monday night. This past Monday night, put us at 1,000 videos, and Charlie put on the show with the 141st and the 147 finish at a 140 perfect first string. Watch that 1,000 match on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Hit you know, that subscribe I, button. Hit the bell. We'll get notified live. I heard today that Josh Daly threw a 199 yep. at Miller. Exactly. He stole my thunder. Yep, Josh at a 199. Yeah. Chris Simmons watching. Olsen oh. right to the middle. A sent to West to 1-5. Brutal. Wow. That what you call a splitting headache. Oh, migraine. Trying to work out of this mess. The object pin, that's all you can do. It's still a tough leave. The bundle of three is the three, six, nine. Left side is the eight in back. Get nine of this. It's pretty darn good. Which he does. That's a pro bowling with a class D bowl of nine. Take that any day at a one five center Worcester. First ball, 54 through 6, still looking for his first mark. They'll probably need one to have a chance to win the string. Two would certainly help. Down three at the half. Here's a nice ball. Pocket shot, 8, 9. Wood oh, push wow. the 5 down. Clean shot at the 10. Don't you just love it when Wood helps? <laughs> you should see Newport. Boy, they fly there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you shot left handed, but it got away. Oh. That's a case of a cool shot. That's a Paul Grant shot, actually. I can't make the 10 pin. <laughs> That's a right. It's all, in, all in people's head. It's the easiest shot to make a single pin. Oh. Not there. No good out of the channel. No good. Nine. Missed opportunity. 63 through 7 in the first of five. Yeah, that's a righty's worst nightmare, the 10 pin. Lefty. It's also, if you're a lefty, it's a 7-pin that's the nightmare. Exactly. So, 10-pin is good for the lefty, 7-pin for the righty. Didn't work off Olsen that time. Yeah. His son here, the Gentle Giant Jr. is in here watching also. About a half inch taller than his dad, I believe. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have to have a measuring contest here. One, three, seven, ten. He's got wood to help, possibly, to get to both sides. Just oh. missed left. Bill can be erratic at times, but he can throw a big game as well. That's the shot he wanted. You got three for nine. Still no marks. 72 through eight. Good pinning, but needs a mark. Only two head pin hits unofficially. And the split was a 1-5 sent to Worcester. He had a single pin for a spare he missed. He had a two pin early he missed. So he's 0 for 2 on makeable spares. 1, 2, 10 on lane 15 here in Nashua. Try to split the uprights. Too far left. Not an easy shot. Would love a mark on the 10. They can still win possibly if the win goes without a mark. That's 9, 81 through 9. Again, good pinning, but you need a 19 box to get to 100. Wins at 48 at the half. Olsen, beautiful ball, a tough split, six got nudge, right, seven left, so we can send that messenger over, four pieces on the deck. You got to go way right of the, the six pin to knock it over, I think it can be done. Could use it, can you get it? Oh, oh you're kidding me, what a shot, somehow that did not go. He wow. hit it in the right spot. And we can win the string now without a mark. A 10 for 91, Mark was first, which he does. I mean, he 
considering the pinning. It's six blocks lower to score, but otherwise, pretty good pinning, 91. <laughs> and averaging 99.86, fifth in the conference. Wind trapped at a three halfway through the string, box to box. He's got the Christy Apple special main, the Bob Clary leaf everywhere else. When turning 63 next month. That one got away, chopped out the nine. Needs a 92 to get the first two points. Yeah, nice all. Now I got them all. Nice shot. And Miller says the Rick Kimrowski special. Been living off that shot, bowling for years in the Friday Night Mixed League. One of the most clutch league balls I've ever bowled with. 10, 58 through 6, up 4 now. Leave 34 in four boxes to capture the first string. Got the boost again, but a good chance here. 1, 2, 4. I'm trying to be a For a spare. Yes! Second spare, the first. And that's the difference in the lead. In the driver's seat now for the first string, 68 in the ball. Up five plus this. One for two, amicable spare chances. Four versus five, the number four seed, the lane 15, in the bonus. 4 1 split. 15 beats a 10. 78 through 7, up 15, his biggest lead. Two, fits, two spares, fills of six and five here in the first. Right in the middle, right. Try and get at least three here. And even better, four, gravy, a nine. 82, 72, box to box, up 10. 10 pins in two boxes, all he needs to win the first. Win currently a 108 league ball, his highest season in average is 98. So bowling the Atlantic Candle Pin single store definitely helps. But in his leagues, he's eight over his season high this season. And bowling more and more helps you a lot. One, three, six, spare chance here. That one got away. Both ball is struggling ahead pin. Bill of three unofficially win with two. But he's taking advantage. And Grace, the head pin for an eight, 90 through nine, a field goal to win. Actually, just needs a safety. Two points, two pins. Two pins to win the string. Only a lemon drop in the same spot. Could avoid that from happening. Yeah. Or a Paul Grant half Worcester shot two box for a tie. <laughs> Actually, it'll still win with a half Worcester. Two pins to win, and there it is. He has the first two points. One, three, eight. Wooden back to help that sleeper pin, the eight. It's for number three. But a lot of chances he's had, he's missed left. A 10 for 100 and a 9 pin lead heading into the second of five. And he gets two for nine. 99, 91, good enough to win. He had 11 bonus pins and he wins by eight. 99, 91, one down, four to go. This is the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class D Northern Conference in his first season. Paul Grant Casey McCool live from Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. Here are the scores box by box. On the Easter Classic. And came up in corner skins with Jordan Britton and Corey Lisi. Subscribe to the YouTube channel Came up in Corner. Watch Skins Competition. Also in, along with Candlepin Sir Cancer on the W O N Sports Network coming in May. So good for them. And thanks to Jonathan Rios. With Campus for Cancerous in Season 2 on WON and 30 different television markets across the country and skins 
join the party as well this spring. Chris Simmons watching. Michael Steeds, thanks for watching. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Bill Olsen starts the second and five with four. Nice shot. Oh, it just missed a seven. He had his chance to win that string. He had a, a single pin he missed. He missed a four seven two pinner left. That cost him two points. He gets a 10 to start the second. Bill, very capable, throwing a couple of 120s in a row he did earlier this year. The fifth seed. A little bit of action gets five. He's got the one, two, three in front, nine in the back of the three, ten right corner, a piece of wood between the three and the ten. On lane 16 here in Nashville, New Hampshire. Good shot. This time it goes. Domino's delivers. Three go down in harmony. His first mark of the match finally breaks through, pinning really well. Up that six blocks in the first. Wow. 20 to ball through two. He did that one. What a great shot by Bill. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. Want well, to get that incorporated. On the bonus. Looks good. Oh, flies over the hay bale. A bundle of five or a diamond plus the 10. 25 through two in the second of five. Just missed right, middle pin, three, left, five, right, 10. The gentle giant trying to get back the second string after losing by eight in the first. And gets a seven, 32 through three. So if you're just joining in, Let's put this up real quick. The first string, if you missed it, 99.91. And those are the box by box scores. Olsen pocket shot. Wood twirls around. Five, nine, ten, left to right. Oh, my back. Great to cover these Class D bowlers. Hungry to get better and better. For spare. Oh, somehow it goes beyond the nine. What was wrong with that? Ugly. Hole for three. Makeable spares. Who needs the wood? 10, 42 through 4 on Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube in high def. Match 14 of 18. They bowl twice a month on average. Flexible schedule. Half Worcester. Don't you just love that shot? Where my mother is right now. On the cruise. Gentle Giant. Leaves up the one and the seven. Trying to get to 52 halfway through the second of five. Get a 45 half first string. And a 46 second half. Eight, 50, half. But that's spare five in the second box. He out pinned, win in the first, but win at two box to none. And that was the difference. 11 bonus pins. He won by eight, 99, 91. He starts the second. And that's number four seed. Rich Lerman, Lita Lane's Rich Lerman, the number one seed. John Hogan, number two seed, on his, on his tail. Alex Patton, third, Wind Trap near fourth. Wild cards, Bill Olson, fifth, Sarah Wright, sixth, Chris Curley, seventh, Chris Sammons, big win recently. He's right now currently eighth, not including any action yesterday, that not posted yet. Cheryl Nealon lost yesterday, so she could be behind Ray McAllister now. They're ninth and tenth. Wayne gets a nine. Do you have to have come up for a spot? I think so, yeah. 
Class D Northern Conference. That could be a preview of the first round of the playoffs. But the way they go in the playoffs, you never know, because the first season I did it two years ago, 12 of the first 16 between A and B. You know, it's Pro and Semi-Pro back then. 12 of the first 16 seeds, the lowest seeds won. Oh, look at this. It's as of yesterday. Bunch of matches. Yeah, but there's some that not posted, though. They bowled. That was yeah. posted. Okay. That's on Danny Funds. You know, I checked out this morning. But it didn't, it didn't post. Oh. Nice try. You got win it 113. Yeah. yeah. But I think Schwab bowled yesterday. It's not as well. You didn't post it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wing gets a nine, pair of nines, 18. He's down seven in the string, up one in the match. Close all the way through. Follow the Friday Night Pro League game of the week every Friday night during the 35 week season. Match 27 coming up this Friday night. Scheduled to be Academy 2 hosting Central 3 pending coverage. If I get somebody with a computer to help me out with it. That's the scheduled match, 7.30. Trapton got this four in the eight. Good second ball. Cross to a little bit thin. 5 1 split. Chasing a 50 half in Bill Olson. Two terrific guys on and off the lane. Wing. Oh, what a 10 that wow, was. That's a wild shot. 10. 28 through three. Down four in the string. Up four in the match. Three of that at work. Wow! <laughs> Get your wild shirt 2.0 while supplies last. They're going away. Get your last 30 or 40 wild shirts while they're available. Out of large, next to large already. Campus cancer shirts are available now also on Campus Cancer hats. $25 each. Hats $20, $10 for each item. Goes to Campus for Cancer. Over 800 wild shirts sold, helping 16 families. And with the eighth mark of lemon drop pool money, helping families as well. So 24 of those two benches alone. Nice bid there. Oh. Oh, no. Early this season, the 7-8 split. Jeremy, Jeremy and Dyke class, he made this shot. The 8 and the 7 for a spare. And he helped him win the string in total. Against Andy Klempo. Gets a 9. 37. Down 5 in the string. Up a field goal in the match on Candleton Bowling Network. Tuesday night, Chris Winniars headlines the match. Tuesday night, scheduled between 6.30 and 7 p.m. on Kenneth Long Network on YouTube. And we'll have Logan Gingrass Thursday night with mm. Bruno DeFeo, Extra Lanes. Thursday afternoon, I believe it is. Bruno DeFeo? Yeah. Channel 5, great. Oh, yeah. Class A action. Logan's run. Win, oh. missed that chance. And Bill will have the lead at the half, down single digits still. You know, I remember back in 1995, Bruno DeFeo was going up against Chris Sargent. Trapton gets a 9, 46 half, so he's up four, down four in the string, up four in the match. Yeah, Bruno DeFeo was going up against Chris Sargent in 1995 on yeah. the Canopin Stars and Stripes yeah. back in the day. Bruno DeFeo pulled Janet Park on the Tournament of Champions. Yeah. Good for Janet Park, Hall of Famer. All right, the Gentle Giant on lane 15 starts the second half for the second string. He's down two marks to one overall in the match. Down four overall. There's a 3 2 split. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Three for six in the head pin. Had three in the first alone. Yeah. Rocco 1059, thanks for watching from Atlanta, pitching Fall River, Mass. Gotta love Camel from Bowling. Share with your friends and family. Nothing like the great game of Kenneth Bowling. It's a sport for all ages. And how many relationships do you see in Kenneth Bowling? Lifelong friends, marriages, and a whole lot more. Three right, four, seven left. Go for the short two. Actually, it's all done. So that's a seven. So make it 57 through six. Casey, what are you working on your game to get better? Ah. Uh, Ooh. Olsen got Ooh. a break. Wow. Uh, I'm just trying to slow my approach down, you know, get down low so I don't come up on the ball when I throw it. You know, I'm not trying to throw like a tendon ball. You get down on it by cooling the gangway plan. So you might <laughs> to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Song. Yeah. Song. 
Oh, oh there's a spare. A wood shooter. He'll take it. Woody, Woody. We always Woody. joke a good. We always joke a good ball will go for the pins. Second mark of the match. Both in the strings. Sixty-seven in the ball through seven. All that matters. It looks good on paper. That's all that matters. That's right. Any way they fall. Right. Can you cash in? Hooks it right. Only three. Seventy through seven at the minimum. Fills a five and three in the string. One had a six and five fill in the first. That eight pin win. Now he goes the other way. And the wood comes back with a three, but it won't cooperate. One, three, five, eight. Second string of five. Great, great matchup. They'll grab all but the head pin for a nine. 79 through eight. Phil Olson's son's here. <laughs> all right. Tell us your name again. Uh, so I'm Nick. We got Ben over here, too. Son, too? Well, yeah, Ben's my son. All right, now who's your, now, your dad's six six. You're six six and a half. Six six, six seven, somewhere around there. How tall is he? Yeah, same. Pretty much the same. Who's taller? Are you two? I don't know. I think you got like half or a quarter of an inch. Pretty, cool. pretty close. Players too, right? he's, a Keen, uh, he's a Keen State basketball fan, right? Yeah. Played for Keen State. Well, Ben played for Keen State, yeah. and Tom played for Plymouth for a year or two, and I didn't. Nah. You're too uh, good for that, huh? <laughs> nah. Can you touch? Can you touch the rim? Anymore? I have no idea. I haven't tried in a long time. Right. What's we'll a measuring contest? Yeah, yeah, we can. We can do that. A little combine. As Bill gets a ten, Tom nice. has two sons here. Yeah. Who's the better bowler by the out of the family here? Oh, him for sure. Yeah. yeah. So I just started bowling with him over the summer because he wanted practice last summer, and then I've been subbing in his league. So Wait, what are you averaging so far? Uh, so my average is up to like 87, 88. So about 12 behind him now. You get there. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. But you come, you, you, you're very competitive, right? You want to beat oh, him. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, sometimes, like, we'll go bowl for practice, and then, you know, i got to make sure I beat him. Hold on, we got breaking news. The Casey Cool. Actually, I started this, Casey, but I give you the credit for the banana split because you love banana splits. Who doesn't love banana splits? Every time splits? I put that on the screen, Casey's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> and I always say, Casey's always hungry. <laughs> Bill 10, 89 through 9 for a spare. Couldn't oh. bounce over. All right, well. Nice to see you again. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. The Olsen Sons. And the father gets an eight. 97, second string. Can't correct the century mark yet. 91, 97. 188 through two. Will it be enough to tie it at two points apiece? Five head pin hits that string. Wind trapped in at the half is down four, up four in the match. Beautiful ball. Takes down eight. Is that mini split? Baby split? The two seven. Spare chance. One in front on the wood. One to the right. One on in the back. Wood. Four for six on the head pin. Oh! He pushed right. Wrong wood. Two missed chances here in the second. And Trapton gets the 10 on the Fall Grand Special. Missed the second, make the third. Is he paying a dollar for the key? Is he putting a dollar for that too? Like Sarah Wright, how the, how the bowlers are. Help with Caleb Fitzgerald Cancer, missing the second shot, making the third. I hear Sarah Wright's doing very Sarah, well. Sarah, yep. 56 through 6. Down one in the string right now, up seven in the match. Another good ball, a little full. Four left, three, six, ten right. Ooh, that might help. But decent wood. Let's see if we can kick it over. Between the three and the six, get that wood into the other wood and turn it around. Too far right. He almost got it, though. He's up to three. Thanks for watching this great game of Candlepin Bowling on Candlepin Bowling Network. Right on for a 10. Right now, down 70 to 66 in the string. Up four in the match. He had double digit lead at one point in the first. And one up 99 91. He's up a, it's a 97, he's a 98 to go up one up. Borderline lob crossing over, that's a triangle. Left to right, five, three, six. 0 for 2 so far, makeable spares. A chance here for another one. Got it with the wood. Three and the six.
Great pinning all string. Lodging pin for a nine. Down four in the string. 79-75 up to four in the match. Close, close, close. No marks. Only five pins left in the deck. Bill had no marks in the first. Went at two. Bill had 91. Including a six. Trapped in. Goes left. He's got a four horseman in the post. Seen that twice today. Not easy shot. We're right on the money. I call it a sniper shot, right? Yeah. In the middle. Too accurate. Trying to get three here. And it's two for an eight. 89-83. Wins down six in the string. Win is up two in the match. Win needs a mark to win for the second time in a row. W-I-N win trapped and some wins are spelled W-Y-N-N. -N. Crossing over, a great chance. Three, six, the ten goes. Wobbling three, wobbling six, shaking their boots. 70% 70, 70 in the head pin. Got to get this one. Looks good. Got it. Yay. A five fill to win. 93 in the ball. Three strings after this. One for three, a makeable spare is each of the first two strings. Third spare of the match. Five to win, four to tie for one point, anything less. Bill ties it to a piece. On the bonus, he gets seven, got a break, wow. and he takes it. He's up four nothing, dramatic finish, 100 to 97. 199, 188 in the match, up 11, three strings left. That's how you do it, folks. Middle string about to start. Bill Olsen trying to get his first two points. Number four versus number five. Number four having his way so far. Does it sound good, Mr. Yeah, sounds good. You're the first two. Two excellent strings. So win has a win and a win. The gentle giant trying to come back here. Still get ten points. He's got a four spin right. The one three six ten. Missed right, one of the three. Two marks behind in the match. Former 112 league bowler got the head pin, but not the three to start with a nine and the third of five. Never too late to pick up a Candlepin gift card at your local bowling center. Help support your centers who work their tails off. Keep this game thriving, get the youth involved. Number one, Mike McIntosh 3.0, Josh Daly and others. Helping the kids program at Academy Lanes. Pub 125. People ask every Wednesday at 3.30. Just $10 a person. This also gets nine. Just $10 a person. Shoes included. 90 minutes to two hours of instructional bowling. Great job. Mike McIntosh. 3.0 on the upgrade. Four pin for a spare. What the hell? He's got it. Hey! 19 of the ball through two. One for two on nine pin drops for spares. The first one and the first one he missed cost him the strength. My mom is still at the fort. She hasn't left yet. Going to the Caribbean. <laughs> still in Florida. On the bonus, crossing oh! over, it is five. Probably better off standing. That ought to pin the two. It's oh, diamond plus the seven. That that, the two help. fell down, we've been parallel time. But that would tougher. might help him. Yeah, but the, I think they have two pins. Even the cost of a pin on the fill, I think it's better off standing. Okay. Oh. Just right. Two, four, seven, eight. Oh. 
nine, 33 through three in the third. He's only had two marks so far, Paul. Three marks now, two in the first, two oh, in the two second, in the, one in yeah. the first. Yep, uh, none yep, in the first, two yep. in the second. Fills a five and three, a spare five here in the third. Yeah. Winnis fills a six, five in the first, seven in the second. So the marks are even Steven, but Bill has three boxes in hand. E extra balls, boxes thrown rather. And there's that dreaded half west for the two and the eight. Keep those comments coming. We love it. Benjamin Witz, hello. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you down here again. Is it Tavin or Tavan? Watching from Finland. How about that? Appreciate you watching. Nothing like the great game of Candle from Bowling. It's a game of skill and challenge. Olsen, a tough leave here. What a shot! Just missed the four! It's a nine. 42 through four. In the third of five. Over 1,000 videos, always free, never a charge. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube on Candle Pin Bowling Network. Hit that little bell or red bell or whatever it is in the button. Get notified when we go live. Olsen crossing over, gets a kick off the wall. This time the five goes. Two, four, seven, eight, left, ten right. It's got a piece of wood between the two and the four, which could help drive it to the east coast. Four for five in the head pin. That's a good sign. He missed left. Two, four, eight. He knew it right away. You take a long layoff on bowling. It takes a while to get back to where you were before at 112. That's alcohol abuse. Grabs two for nine. 51 half. <laughs> Halfway through his match. Win trapped in the home bowler. Won the first. 99-91. Won the second with a clutch spare seven. 197. He's up 11 in the match. And a 4 nothing lead. Again, two points per win per string, one for a tie, four for total. No overtime until the playoffs. We have one couple seasons ago, a thrill with Danny Finn and Jordan Britton and Millis. Trapped in 2 7 10. Unofficially, seven head pin hits in that second string. Bill with five. Number four seed, division leader. Great. Cry, good try, good good crack at it, but couldn't get to the good ten. Cry. I was gonna say cry or crack, I try, crack. I said, that, I yeah. <laughs> it's like I said, youch one time. Yikes and ouch. I call it youch. Nine. Match at nine. Box to box, tied in the string, up eleven in the match. Up against a spare five here, and a fifty-one half from the gentle giant. Trapton sails left. He gets four. A bundle of six. Now the five goes. Now the six goes. So now it's the one, three, nine, ten. This is match 14 of 18. Nice shot. You got it. Great shot for a spare. Not necessarily an easy one. It's fourth spare in the match. Matching Bill's spare. Five to tie the strength, six to take the lead. Four versus five. Nice pocket shot for a strike, nine. Oh, Wood sails by the king. The king has no guards now. His first nine drop of the match. Bang. Back to back. 28 through 2, 38 in the ball through 3 on Canlepin Bowling Network on YouTube and high def. I wonder if Bob Lee would ever make it 4K. I have 4K on my phone. Mm. That's because it's not an iPhone. <laughs> Trapped in goes left. 5. <laughs> I'm an Android guy. I'm an iPhone guy. I didn't follow the crowd. Yeah. That puts him up to 43 through three. He'll have the lead at the half again. Can you get this one? Oh, right oh. over the five. That would have been three in a row.
trapped in nine. 52-42. Artie leads the half by one with the box in hand, up 12 in the match, plus whatever he gets here in the fifth at the halfway point of the match. So the season ends today, pending action. Yes, they did not post. Rich Lerman would take on Chris Sammons. John Hogan would take on Chris Curley. Alex Patton would take on Sarah Wright. Wynn Trafton would take on Bill Olson here. Nice ball again. Eight. What a beautiful ball. The string. Five right. Eight left. Wood in front. Oh. Can be tricky sometimes. Casey, how do you play this wood here? Uh, I'd say right at the five pin. Oh, the wood got in the way. Yeah, he clipped, the, he clipped it. No fall for clipping. <laughs> the wood rolls in the channel. Trying to get the 62, a Class A performance by the Class D bowler. Here in the third, nine, 61 half. Very good scoring. 61-51 of 10 in the string is his biggest lead of the match. 21 and a 4-0 lead here in the third. In points. Can the gentle giant storm back to win this string? He's about two marks behind. You could say a mark and a half behind. <laughs> Sarah Wright's hoping for a sweep to win Trapton. Well, actually, no, because Sarah Wright's right behind win Trapton in the standings. We could help her get to fifth in the wild card, but she's chasing win Trapton in her division. Here's a good ball there. He has a split. Not anymore. Oh, the the five gets a nudge. It's the kingpin. For the ladies, I call it the queen pin. For the guys and anybody else, it's the kingpin. But angle piece of wood in front could be a roadblock. Just play the right of it and it'll go. Second nine drop of the string. It's one for two today so far. Five for six on the head pin. He could go around it. Possibly that wood to the right. Never a guarantee. Oh. Like that. He thought that might sweep around, but no dice. And another wrong piece of wood for a nine. We'll never know. 60 through six on Candlepin Bowling Network. Class D Northern Conference first season. Class C champion Jeff Little, the laser. Won it last year in a thrill of a Mike Fabrizio Smith, who broke his high single yesterday, 177. How about a 561, 560 Class C final last year? But Jeff cannot defend his title because he graduated like Casey to Class B. Oh, and imagine we had to go back. Paul. So a new I was Class C champion. That I made it to the finals or the top, whatever. Also, need a couple marks. 136. Seventh box, third string for Nashua. Eight. 68 through seven. Win as a 61 half. Remaining schedule. Bill takes on number nine or number nine, 10 seed, Shrill Nealon. Then he plays his division. Wynn takes on Brian Hebert the second at Lakeside Lanes, and then his division. Nice pocket shot, seven, maybe eight, make it nine again. Here we go again. It's the kingpin again, and more wood in the way. He's got three pieces again. Can he pick the right one this time? Yeah. Oh. Coming back. Oh. Right there, the wobbling, stumbling, and bumbling won't go. The king does not want to die. <laughs> the king lives another day. Yep. Until now. Yep. <laughs> That's a Paul Grant special. Miss the second, make the third. Costly miss. 78 through 8. Needs a couple of marks to get his first two points. It's one for three in the string on single and nine pin drops and conversions. Another head pin hit. This time it's a spread eagle plus the eight. Seven for nine in the head pin, and not much to show for it. Does it does it, does have a spare five, but three missed spare chances. Dominoes a few more. It's got the two left, three, six, ten right. Definitely to mark an attempt at any shot. A double would certainly help. Too far right. Eight box, 86 through nine. Still looking for his first century club. Needs a mark. 
A big 20, we get to 106, and when we need 46 without a mark to go up 6 0. Olsen. That won't help. Three. Just not as sharp. He was pretty good in the first, the second string pinning. Seven hit pin hits in this string here. Five in the second. Just three in the first. But not taking advantage of his opportunities. He's up to one of the ten, trying to get to 96. So he's stuck in the 90s, all three strings. Nice shot for a 10. 96 third string. Averaging 99.86 this season. The number five seed in trouble. Possibly went out six nothing. That puts him at 284 through three. One big string is all he needs, like you said. Win Trafton. 36 is all he needs. And five boxes go up six nothing. Ooh. Hooked right. Three. Deja vu. 155 high single, high triple, 374, high five, 585. Just over six years of Camelot from bowling. Excellent shot. Oh. Stops between the five and the eight. His friend Diane got him involved in joining a league. He's enjoying bowling this ACST. Hey, he oh. stole it for a 10. The train came by. Little kick in the back. 71 through 6 on the 10 box. Up 11 in the string. 22 in the match. Delay of game. Kicking the kicker. Not quite a delay of game. <laughs> Slow motion, but not quite a delay of game. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a three-second violation, but not, not quite a delay of game. <laughs> Ninth box. A correction, seventh box. Third string. Five-string match. Trapped in. Got the pocket. And there goes the parallel. Oh, pill. oh. Took out parallel time. Living in, the, living in the current right now. Wow. Took down the past. Ten pin for a spare. Unofficially four head pin hits here in the third. You got it. Oh. Two for two in single pins for spares. A string. 81 on the ball through seven. In the driver's seat to go up six nothing. Third spare of the third. Six in the match. Still just three spares. Trapped it. Beautiful ball. Got the seven to go and the ten to go. Three, six. Spare chance. Eight on the fill. The 18 box. 89 through 70. He's won the string already. Of six points to none. For another one. Bang! Bang! Bango! 99 of the ball through eight. Wow! Four spares for the Class D bowl. You're not supposed to do that in Class D. Having a Class A string. Uh oh. Oh, boy, the lemon drop the $5 oh. account for Sakansa attacks. Got two. 12 beats a 10, the office, office would say. 101 through 8. It's as low as Phil. <laughs> got the 1, 2, 10. As Phil's in the match, 6, 5, 7, 9, 5, 8, 2. Not to be confused with 8, 6, 7, 5, 3, 0, 9. I got it. I got Great song it. by Tommy Teton. Yeah. One hit wonder. I love that karaoke song too. Know, right? Eight, one hundred nine through nine. Excellent string for number four seed, division leader. Sarah Wright trying to catch him. She'll bowl him later on as the division bowl each other twice the first three weeks in the last three weeks of the season. Win, beautiful pocket shot, strike! Wow! Whoa! Bombs away, baby! Look 119 out, plus two! Team. Class D, folks! Class D! Four spares, one strike! Six for ten in the head pin. First strike for either bowler. And Bill Olsen's like, great. <laughs> Bill's very capable of doing the same thing. Bill's very capable of doing the same thing. 
Going for a double, but missed left. What you split? Try to get to 129. Good shot, the Hatchet Pin. Seven. How about a 126 for the Class D bowler? Wayne Trafton up four, six points to none. 126 to 96. He opens up a 41 pin lead in the match. Two strings to go. That's how you do it, folks. 325 to 284. And Bill Olson just try to chip away. 21 and 20. Four string left the start. Paul Grant, Casey McCool, live from the Easter Classic home of Alita Lanes, National New Hampshire, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, inaugural Class D season, Northern Conference, 41 pin lead. I'm walking calculator, Casey. I'm not good at calculating. I'm good at math, nothing else. Yeah, and I work at a liquor store and I work on a register. Well, that's why you don't know math. You're working at a liquor store. You're probably drinking too much there. <laughs> Look, I am Irish, but I won't do it. Olsen starts the fourth with the Christy Hapworth main special, I call it. Bob Cleary, here. Near the string so far. Back to live action. I want to show it one more time real quick before he throws the ball. 99, 91, 100. 97, 126, 96, 324. Excellent shot for an eight to start the fourth of five. Bill's high single, 172. You throw a big game, 424 high triple, high five, 636. Out of Tim Lukey's Hall of Fame house, Lakeside Lanes. What a class act he is. Six nine ten. 10 in the 80s, he was a New England Junior Tram Championship winner. Runs a league, Lakeside Lanes. His league actually donated $272. He put $28 in to make it $300 on a 50, 50 raffle between two leagues for Candle Pins for Cancer. Thank you very much, Bill Olson. Good offer, Bill. Hope to have other leagues do the same thing. Try to get one or two a year, one each half. Do a 50 50 help Candle Pins for Cancer. Going back to bowlers and their families going through cancer treatments. There's a nine, 17 through two here in the fourth. Big fan of Keene, Keene State men's basketball team. Or is it Keene, is it Keene University now or is it Keene State? Keene State College. Keene State College still, okay. He comes from a Brady Bunch family of six boys. <laughs> and the youngest one is not in curls. <laughs> Four from plus a post. Won the 55 to 59 New Hampshire senior gold games last year. And also needs some marks. About three or so marks behind each string you'll need. You need a plus three in each string to have a chance to win the match. You can still get at least four points, 22 strings. I'll take a nine, 26 through three on Canopin Holy Network. The youngest one in girls. <laughs> Great show, the Brady Bunch. Yes. And they're all still alive, too. Well, the, father, the father's not, though. Oh. Fourth box, fourth string, also beautiful ball, strike bid nine. Ah. Would just miss the king. The king, the king will not give catch. up his ring. No. For a spare. Yes. Bang. Right on the nose. He's, he said five nine pin drops. He's converted two of them to spares. This is fourth spare of the match. Fills a 5, 3, and 5. On the bonus, 3, 13 in the box. 39 through 4. The fills are hurting them. 5, 3, 5, 3. In that order, in the match. Try to come back. Just missed the pocket. One of the three. Try to get to 49. Halfway through the fourth. I was hoping to get in the 60s or 70s. 
Missed for an 8.47 half. Chris Sammons now is watching. Chris. Chris Simmons watching the eighth seed. Two over five hundred, eighty-five and eighty-three. Is a fourth in the post eight, multiple eight, times. Got wood yeah. to help between the one behind the one and the three. Trapped in selling his fourth string of six nothing. Missed that pin. Up against a 47 half from Olsen. Nice shot for a 10. Two pin lead in the string, 43 in the match. The fourth seed leads the five seed all the way through, pretty much. He's chasing Alex Patton for the third seed in the conference, John Hogan and Rich Lerman for the top spot. Left side, six, not a bad lead considering missing the head pin. One, three, six, the nine behind the three, and Wood behind to help that sleeper pin, potentially. Missed that pin again. Wood spins behind, but can't reach number one. Sarah Wright, schedule the bowl. Kevin Martel today. Kevin Hurt is back. That's why they're not here today. That's why it's a singles match instead of a doubles match. Win again, it's dead pin. Once on the first ball, a pair of tens, though. So it took him the third ball to get each ten. I'm head pin. I'm all in. <laughs> Biggest lead of the match, 44. Up three in the string. How big would a sweep be for him? If he sweeps 14 points to Alex Patton, he'll be eight. Uh, he'll be ahead in third place by two points of Alex Patton, who's 125 and 71, wins 113 and 69 coming in. Single pin. Let's go to this in the third ball. Can you do in the second ball? Right on the Whoa. way. There. 30 to ball through three. Perfect so far. 10 spears and strikes in Caleb and Bowling. A perfect game. He's three for three on single pins for spares in the match. And being perfect without hitting head pin in the first ball here in the fourth. Misses again. And get seven. One, three, five. 37. Through three. Nice shot. Hit that pin this time with the second ball. Won't get to the king. So again, the king is not cooperating. It's thrown. Same spot for a 10. The perfect string continues. He has it again. Wow. 10 10. Spare 7 10. 47 the ball through four. The win, 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 Trapton. Three wins so far. <laughs> Through a thunderous strike in that third, third, third string with four spares. 126, 96 win. There's a good head pin hit. And look at this oh, leap. Yikes, oh. are you kidding me? Four, five, ten. Unbelievable. What is that? He was better off missing the head pin. Yeah. First head pin hit, a splitting headache. If this happens, we may not have Easter class and the roof may collapse. Still there. Right. Two for one special. Another solid half. Well, with a lot of confidence today. Eight. 55 half up eight in the string 49 in the match and bill olsen's got some work to do the gentle giant has been stumped so far he's a very good bowl though i've seen him multiple times he can throw some big ones 
including New Hampshire State's last year. On the road here, National New Hampshire, leading lanes. One eight nine. I've seen him make this before. Wood behind number one. Missed left. Took on the head pin. Eight and the nine. He's had so many chances. Not that that was an easy one. But so many chances today. He's missed two pinners and single pins. Wood rolling around. That wood will be checked by wind trap. And I think it's a, Case McCool's going to take a trip to our memory lane. Things I do for this. Maybe do a curly shuffle ace down there, too. Let's see. You stop it. <laughs> Get away the curly shuffle shirt, though. The curly shirt first before you do it, Casey. Slight delay. From the fourth string of five. Last D Northern Conference. Number four, Wynn Trafton up six points down on number five seed, Bill Olson. Bill from Derry, New Hampshire, originally Everett, Massachusetts. Turning 56 in May. And the 63-year-old, 64-year-old, soon to be Wynn Trafton, has the lead. What is good? Grabs the nine for a nine. 56 through 6. When is a 55 half? Olsen trying to get at least a win here and get a crack at total in the fifth. Shots like that don't help. Parallel pins plus to nine. Five standing. Case McCool in the official scorekeeping. No chicken scratch today. No award winning chicken scratch for me. Also missed it. They had been. Nine. 65 through seven. Got to get some marks. Need at least two. To have a chance at his first two points. Four seven eight. John Hogan leads the conference, not including yesterday's action. 102.45. Rich Lerman, the number one seed, 102.14. Win trapped in 100.37. Olsen comes back to the two. The one does not go. Fourth and average, Sarah Wright, 100.06. Bill Olsen here, 99.86. Alex Patton, 699.17. Bill takes care of business for a 10, 75 through 8. You need two marks to win the string, more than likely. Otherwise, facing an 8 0 deficit. Which is good news for a division leader, Jonathan Hogan. As a clip wing eagle. Double would help in the tenth. Takes an eight. Eighty-three through nine. Needs a mark for his first hundred today. Just not as sharp as he has been overall this season. Not going to help. Parallel pins plus the eight against a lot of these today. Possible spare lead though. So would the help possibly in back? Got to get this somehow. Whoa. Almost stole it. Leads with a three and win. Looking great for eight nothing lead. Unless disaster strikes. Bill sweeps it out for a 10, 93, four string, 91, 97, 96, 93. 
She has 377 through four for the fifth seed. The fourth seed having his way. Has the lead. 381. Check that math from uh, 1 to 10. Here's your calculator. Trying to spare, just missed inside. Is that, is that Is that Diane? Win. It's a nine. 64, 56, up eight in the string, 49 in the match. All he needs is 30 pins in four boxes to win the first four strings. Bill's been one mark behind all match line, each string for his average. Half west of two in the eight. That's why I hate the half whister. Did that many times. Well, put it in the hole. Yep. Took out the one and the nine. And Bill hoped for a tough box. For win. But it wins ball. And don't count out, but he does. He got a five. That gives Bill a slight chance. 69, 65. The lead is four in the string. He has control of the match. Three bucks to go. One string to wrap up the match after this on Candlepin Bowling Network. 25 and three boxes. Oh, like, what a yikes. Oh, oh, what a it is winter time with chopping wood. Nine days before spring. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Trapped to try to work out of it. Oh, what a shot that was. Wobbling seven and ten, eight, middle left. I think he's pulling well because Diane's watching. Let's <laughs> go from watching. Went out of that mask. It's a nine. I'll take that. Big pins. Three pin lead, 78 75 through eight completed boxes. 16 to win for the fourth string in a row in as many tries. Bruno the Fail, Logan Gingrass, Thursday, I believe 6.30 start at Extra Lanes, or it's 4.30 maybe. I'll check it when I get home, but I think it's 4.30 start. We'll post on Canopin Chat on YouTube, on Canopin Bowling Network. Chris Winnie has two cents from Lakeside Lanes between 6.30 and 7 o'clock. The Wizard, all world. 1, 3, 6, 10. 16 pins. All he needs in two boxes. Got out two. There's half of them. Four balls to go. Big ten here would help. And when it's one for nine, eighty-seven, eighty-three of four in the string, forty-five in the match. He needs six to tie for one point. Seven to win two points and an eight nothing lead in the match. It's been close. Three of the four strings he put on the clinic in the third with a 126 96 win. Beautiful ball. There it is. Nine. Wow. He's up eight nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Cool shot won't go. You want to go with that pin whenever you can. Woods never guarantee. Case in point. Trying to get the 97. Good enough to win. Wasn't there. Nine. Another close one. 96 93. One string left. 421 to 377. A 44 pin lead overall. Who needs a calculator, Casey? <laughs> Casey's iPhone got the math wrong. 
That's why I like Android. <laughs> Just kidding, Casey. Quit it. <laughs> Put the lead out here, too, please. Yep, I got it. So you said plus... 44. All right, Bill Olsen needs a huge, huge string. A 172 high single. We'll need that much, but we'll need a big one. We'll put the scores on the screen after this box. Fifth and final string on the way. They'll try and get at least two points. Six, we can win total somehow. Takes down just three. Here it is, box by box, the first four. 377 to 421. We'll show the running totals in just a minute. Back to live action. Aye. Right in the middle. The big difference, that third string, 126, four spare, one strike performance by Wynn Trafton. And that's 30 to 44 pins in his lead in the match. Wilson seven to start the final string. Here it is, string by string so far. Bill had some chances. Couldn't connect. Three win-win. Three can win again. All win so far. This nice ball. The five won't go. That's the setback shot. They call up north. Four, seven left. Wobbling five right. Very rarely goes. You could use it somehow. That's the chance for the wood. Not that it was easy. He's going to need a bunch of marks. A double strike would certainly help. Actually tried to, but didn't go anyway. A pair of sevens. 14 through two here on the fifth. Pro Series next Saturday for Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Massachusetts with Greg Guillard. I don't know if I'll be there or not, but Greg Guillard's scheduled to be there as well. Live coverage on Camel and Bowling Network on YouTube. Also, nice ball. Not again. It's the four, not enough on it. And the best box tournament at uh, Bobwell's on Sunday. Six nine pin drops, and he missed oh. it. Just two conversions out of six tries. And if you think if you convert all of those, you're not gonna make them all, obviously. The lead be cut in half or more. Nine, twenty-three through three. Final string of the match. He's missed some easy ones. And statistically, single pins, the easiest shot to make with all the pins standing. Bill gets another chance with Jonathan Hogan. He beat him 9-5. to five. In the second week of the season, Jonathan, third, first match, Bill's second match of the season on YouTube on Camel Bowling Network. That was a crazy match. All the strings are tied or single digits. A tied match score. Another one of these four spin plus one. Pushes down the eight. Not going his way as he's hoped to. Missed it. So he went 14 against Sarah, right? In Sarah's division. He could go 0 14 today against Wynn Trafton, division leader. And he's got Sherelle Nealon next on the schedule before the division. Final three weeks of the season. Also, 1, 2, 4, 9. He's at 29 after that six box and four. And sometimes it can get discouraging. You're not hitting your mark. Excellent try. The violin bow slides across, left to right. Four and the nine. A disappointing start to a disappointing afternoon. Eight, just a 37 half in total in jeopardy now. Try to get at least two points with a big second half. Win Trafton has control of the match. Up 44 coming in, up against a soft 37 half. It's the Diane factor watching. And no lemon drops today, Casey. No. And quit asking me to give you a dollar every time I show you that lemon drop martini. <laughs> Two 
wrapped in one, two, four, seven, and the eight. His fifth swing underway. Nice shot. Just missed the eight. Got the horses. Nothing wrong with that shot. <laughs> Win nine of two in the string, match in hand. It's great to see balls like this, so Casey, get their chance to yeah, in the yeah, streaming yeah. era. They're hungry, get better. They're yeah. excited about the coverage and I love covering these bowlers. They're hungry to get to C, then B, then A eventually. Well, we appreciate what you do, Paul. You know, if it wasn't for you. Nice ball there, four, seven, eight, spare chance. Where would we be, you know? You cover all of our matches, and we I appreciate you every time you cover my matches. Even you lose? Yes. I mean, I'm coming back, you know. I'm trying to work out things. We had some injuries and stuff, too. A car accident this year also. Trapped in spare. Wow. 19 of all through two of five in the string plus a ball. Yes, I have. I've had a lot of... I did have a car accident, but... Eh, it's tough to bounce back when you have a bad whiplash, you know, but you just got to walk through it and just build your energy back up. And that's all I did. On the phone. Another one of those Christy Hapworth main specials. Five, 24 through two, up 10. For another one. Oh. oh. A Baltimore chop. Seven, 30, 24 through two with the strike. Five, a spare five, Phil, rather, and a seven in the box, 31 through three. Drafton on lane 16 in Nashville, New Hampshire, eight. Oh. Wiggly five, middle, four left. Four, five. It's time to slice and dice. <laughs> slice and dice. Good effort. You're doing pretty decent on single pins today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three for three and nine drops off of spares. Meanwhile, Bill's been just two for six. And that time it's a nine. Yeah, I missed that one. <laughs> Didn't get the memo. 40 through four. Here in the final string of the match. 11 pin lead, box to box. Two spears in the first, one spear in the second, four spears, one strike in that 126 third, one spear in the fourth, one spear in the fifth. Just missed the pocket. Another one of those four spin plus a post. <laughs> seen a lot of those today, yeah. Paul. Wind looking to go for the sweep and back to number three. He was number three. Alex Patton took over. Twelve ahead with the match in hand. Oh. Now it's the Augusta Bay Special. Minus one. Oh. Seven ten. He leads the half by double digits. Bill two marks behind. Trying to get at least two points and salvage anything before his next match. That's an eight box, 48, 37 at the half. Final five boxes for each bowler. Thanks for watching this great game of Caleb and Bowling. It's all win trapped so far. Can Bill come back for two points? If Wynn loses a string, he'll be tied with Alex Patton for third place. Much sure as the tiebreaker off hand. John Hogan second, Rich Lerman first. Back to lane 15 to wrap up the match for both bowlers. Five right, eight left. Wood rolling around, trying to get closer. Must stop by rule before you release the ball. He can move. Yeah, if you release the ball, it moves on his own. That's okay. He's a spare, and he missed again. 
Going to Phil Collins. Three for six in the head pin. And two missed spare chances. Nine. Just 46 through six. Needs at least two marks. Have any chance for two points. Three would help. We'll talk to both bowlers before we sign off. Half Wister. Back at coverage Tuesday night, Lakeside Lanes. The Wizard, Chris Winniard, 6.30. Scheduled start time. Olsen, just two. Logan Gingras, brew to the fail. Thursday from extra lanes. Olsen, he's a big out. Gets four for an eight. 54 through seven. Has not hit the Century Club yet. He's getting two marks to do it here in the fifth. In trouble. For any points. He's been close three of the four strings. Here's a nice ball. Four seven eight triangle. Gotta get this one. He does. Still has a chance. 64 and a ball through eight. Come on, Bill. Drop a dime. It's hard to win. You only have five spares in the match. None in the first, two in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, one here in the fifth. Fills a 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, five, three. Have not helped either. There's a nice ball. It's a setback shot. And it could be a setback loss. 71 through eight. Oh, he got it! Wow, incredible oh, shot! Wow, what a spare! Unusual to make and a great time to get it! Good for him! What a shot for a spare! 81 of the ball Who's that through guy? nine. Who's that and that's the first time he's gone back to back all day. He take advantage. He gets a lemon drop and five dollars. Finally comes through. He puts it right now. Caleb puts for cancer. <laughs> Honest with the bullet. Great for the charity. Bad time for that, though. But great for the families going through cancer treatments. 82 through 8. That's what he wanted in the first. You know, you make a great shot, Casey, like that, the setback shot, and you get a fill like that. It's just very discouraging. Object pin for an 8. 90 final string. It's just not his best up today. Five strings, all in the 90s, all below his average. It just 467 with a gentle giant. He's putting $10 in. Thanks, Bill. Class act. Should have did that first. And yeah, Bill said he does better. He puts the limit drop money ahead of time. Sorry, he'll bounce back next time. He's still the fifth seed. Tough to catch Jonathan Hogan now. Still has time, though. One trap, try to get a sweep. Parallel pins plus the two. He has a 48 half. He's 43 without a mark to win. Great piece of wood to help. Two pieces. Nails it! Spare! 58 to ball through six on Candle Pin Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. And that could do it for total. Uh, for the string rally, he's got total one. Second spear of the string. On the bonus, eight. Three and the six. 66 through six. Route 66, Paul. For another one. Bang! And that could do it. 76 the ball through seven. He's a 91 to get a 14 0 sweep. Is it some cornhole to our left? Here we go. Talk to both balls before we sign off. Put the official scores up first. 
Wind, beautiful ball for a strike nine. Oh. Just missed the four, taps it down, but won't go. 85. 85 through seven. Over three in a row. Missed it, oh. doesn't need it. He's won the string, he has a 14-0 sweep. Nine, 94 through eight, two blocks to go. Thanks for watching this great game of Cannibal Bowling. It's the win trapped in show today. A big third string win to put it away and a fifth string, the cherry on top. Now put Bill at 118 and 78 and Sarah Reich can tie him now with a 14-0 sweep. She was supposed to ball. Kevin Martell today was injured so she can go 14-0. She'll tie Bill Olson. But Bill beat her head to head 14-0. This might go. This might go. 7, 8, 6, 10 right. Two pieces to deal with. Good effort. That was the spot. In the Century Club for the second, third time. Hit 100 in the second, 126 in the third. 99 first, 96 fourth. Eight. One box to go, 102 through nine. A great performance by number four seed, Win Trampton. And now he will jump Alex Patton, the general son. He'll go to 127 and 69. Alex will be fourth, 125 and 71. Right side, five. Final box of the match. Thanks for watching. How much? Missed inside. One four seven. Final ball. Trying to get to one twelve. And five thirty three in the match. Fine performance. Have just one hundred point three seven. Object pin eight. Nothing wrong with the one ten. Final strength for win, 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 win. Trapped in five wins each string. One win each string in total. Five thirty one. 31 or so over his average. 531 to 467. <laughs> Let's put the scores on the screen. We'll talk to the bowlers before we sign off in just a moment. A sweep by Wintrap. Here are the scores. Box by box, first of all. For Micah for the ACST. Yeah. The, the third string was the killer for Bill Olson. Win 99-91, 197, 126-96, 96, 96 93, 110 to 90. Final score of 531 to 467. Let's talk to the bowlers before we sign off. Are you trying to swing? Bill Olson, the gentle giant. Bill, wasn't your day today, apparently. No. You were close to your average. You were marked behind each string, but you were close three of the strings or so, but it's just that big third string put away, it seemed I, like. I, yeah, listen, I just couldn't find my spot all day long and kept trying to move up and back, and I just never found it. So no. in the midst of that battle, how do you find them? I mean, I had the same problem. I'd That's, move too far left, too far right. Next thing you know, you're doing a dance, and you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you keep making adjustments, right? And then I had the, the couple of nine drops with the wooden front, and the wood became roadblocks. Yeah. And I think, you know, if those don't become roadblocks, maybe I pull a string out here or there and uh, just couldn't find it and then went through, you know, a nice 126 game, a nice 110 game. You know, you got to you gotta give that to him on those. Yeah, and you're very doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll be back. I, uh, we were just talking about This could be a rematch. Yep. Actually, he's the, the third seed now. Two, now he's third. Two points on Alex Patton with that 14 0 sweep. Yeah. And now Sarah yeah. can tie you back with a 14 0 sweep. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, my apologies. <laughs> after after taking 14 and 0 and then losing here at, at yeah and now yeah, you get Cheryl Nealon next Cheryl Nealon next and, your division. And, then, and then back to the division which which shout out to my division I think we got the best division in the in John the, Hogan number two right now John Hogan Kevin Martell yeah. and uh, and Brian Hebert I, yeah. all solid bowlers so yeah. there's no there's no gimmies there there's no gimmies there so and thanks for we'll your ten dollar timely donation account for cancer should have paid you early should've you do better when you pay earlier know, let that be a lesson to you <laughs> i gotta pay i gotta pay first and then get it over with all right all right Paul, hey, good luck you. next time bill olson gentle giant win trapped in what a what a win for you
Yes. I was just Not a lot of star points, a couple, a couple of strings, but some big shots. You seem to get a big shot whenever you needed it. And the four spare, one strike, and the third seemed to put it away. I just need to relax. So sometimes I rush a little bit too much. So when I relax, drop my shoulders, stay up, I can throw a pretty good ball. So it worked today. Even some of the strings you went in the head pin, you were getting a lot of good 10 boxes, 9 boxes too. That's right. I was getting some nice uh, uh, fills, even though I was off the head pin, and that doesn't always happen. So you got a three letter word being the number three seed now in the conference. Oh, am I really? Yeah, two points out of Alex Patton. Oh, excellent. I like it. I was I was wor wonder, uh, worrying I was going to uh, not even make it to the playoffs. So. You got four more matches left, and you got your division the last three weeks. That's right. Yep. Yeah. You got to take on Sarah right again. She's gunning for you this time, she said. Yeah, we gun for each other. Absolutely. Oh, good fun, of course. Yep. Right, and Sherelle's bowling really well, and uh, Sarah, myself. So. You ever get to 106 in your leagues this year? What, what got you going this year all of a sudden? Ah, uh, you know, just coming out and figuring out my approach and timing and all that. I think it's the Diane factor. Yeah, she, Diane. She encouraged you to join a league. She is. She's great. Yeah. Yeah. Is she a better bowler than you? Uh, we're competitive. She's a little bit lower on average, but, you know, together we're always over 200. So. All right, three-letter word for going 14-0. Wow. All right, wind trapped in 14 nothing. Over Bill Olson, the Gentle Giant. Thanks to Casey McCool keeping score and helping out. Final score, if I can read this, 531 to 467. From Lita Lanes and National Hampshire, Paul Grant saying so long for now. Thanks for watching this great game of Candlepin Bowling on Candlepin Bowling Network. All right, Paul. Thanks. <laughs> yeah.